have Jose Trevino joining us right now. Uh, great to see you, Jose. Not What's up, guys? Y'all doing no, right? he, he's good. You actually were placed on the real IL at one point <laughs> last year, okay? I just, so, heard about, I just heard about what you are talking about. Can, can you <laughs> clarify? Because you're, you're not going to be um, going out on a limb here by telling us, true or false, there are players sometimes that go on the IL these days that are not actually I no hurt. I have no clue. That's, that's, <laughs> none, that's none of my that business. a current player. None that's the business. difference. Yeah, that's right. He yeah, stays out of it. That's smart. You're not, you can't say it until after, right? So, did you ever go on the know. Phantom IL in the minor leagues? Nope. Mm-mm. No, you were that good. Okay. See, this is how it's going to change the game. Okay, fine. My, my last question on this for me, Jose, is: Can I ask you the same question when you retire? And can I be the first person to ask you it? For sure. Okay. Go for it. I'm, you're going to get the same answer. <laughs> you get the same answer. Okay. I can only speak for myself that I know I did. I went on the Phantom Mile once, so I can say that confidently. Yes. And I also That's know good. that my, did, my right, magic. No, 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 no. Did um, uh, AJ? Yeah. A bruised, uh, bruised butt. And, you know that was what I wanted to go on the aisle with. I went yeah, super yeah. viral. Yeah. It's called AJ. anal. I I had an anal fissure. Okay, but they yeah, said it was go. a hamstring because they wanted <laughs> you know, it to be more realistic. You know, actually, AJ, you've taken a foul tip there. Crazy. Oh yeah, come on! But I, I never fish. I never fissured. I never fissured. <laughs> no. just, yeah, it just it just skins it just the touched. cheek. It just skins yeah. the cheek and. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. feel good. Yeah. Hey, um, by the way, did you? I know you're a Spurs fan. Did you see the score of their game last night? No, I just I just watch uh I just watch when they do good. Oh. Why would I watch? Anything I was else? I was wondering who they what team they lost to. I wasn't sure. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Oh. It's a rebuild. This is, so this is why Tim Duncan is the greatest basketball player of all time. This is why. You're proving my point. Everybody proves my point every day. He didn't need no time to win. He just got there, started winning. Yeah, but he also had t- David Robinson. Yeah, but without David Robinson, you know, Tim Duncan was – Tim Duncan was Tim Duncan. They are going to win no matter what. So you're not on the Wim, Wimbayama train anymore? Oh, I love I love him. He's great. It's just minutes restriction, keeping him healthy. I'm on the Vassell train. I love Devin Vassell, who lit y'all up last night. But Oh, wait, you didn't watch, though. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't watch. <laughs> I saw the good things. I saw the oh. good things. <laughs> wait, I have a relevant question. I'm going to tie this all together because I, I know maybe a few, a few yeah, times yeah. ago. You know where I'm going here? I know where you're going here. When you were in the minors, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, okay. go for it. Go for so it. what is your take on load management? Buck Walters was on with us the other day and told us that late in the season, Nimmo had like a double and a triple or something, and they were like, he ran too much. He's got to sit tomorrow. And he was like, I, are you shitting I have, me? I have no comment on that, but I have a story for you that ties okay. into that. I was in the minor leagues. You can ask Howard Johnson. Howard Johnson's my manager. Chris Briones is our uh, is our catching coordinator. We have a back to back game. We're in High Desert, California. We have a back to back game, a double hitter, and two sevens, so fourteen innings total. I catch the first seven. I go into Howard Johnson's office and I'm like, Hojo, let me catch the second game. It's like thirty minutes in between, right? And he's like, call call Brio, your coordinator, and see if he'll let you. And I'll call you know the front office and. You know, we'll see what happens. Well, he didn't end up calling the front office. I called Brio, and Brio said yes, and I played the second game. I played the second game. I'll, I'm not going to throw any more names out, out there. I played the second game. The next day, there was a coordinator that flew into town. I got suspended three or five games. Three or five games. Uh, for wanting to play a double hitter and playing a double hitter, yeah, suspended for playing. That yes, wanting for wanting. I dare you want to play wanting, more for I wanting to play. play more. Yeah, but which they is like, load they management. Like, it, they were like, no, like you know, you can't can't do that. And I was like, Molina does it. Like I want to do it too. And it was only it wasn't like two nine innings. It was two sevens. So it was like I was catching an extra inning game anyway. So that's that was my explanation, but. Yeah, they canned me for a couple games, man. I actually had to sit out for three, three or four games. I think it was, it was either three or five. 
I want to say, but yeah, I wasn't allowed to do any uh, <laughs> early work. Uh, I just would, would go and lift and then I would play catch and then I would sit there uh, on the, on the bench with my turf on. So you basically yeah. did it. So you basically did it. So you get some days off. I see what you did. <laughs> I, I mean, see what you did. I, I just, I just wanted to win, but we ended up splitting the double hitter, but yeah, I got to pull up the games. It was against uh, who was Houston. I remember who was Houston in high desert when we were in high desert, but yeah, it was a, uh, it was a pretty funny thing. I was like, I'm getting suspended for wanting to play. And they were like, uh, not really, but yeah. And I was like, all right, whatever. Cool. Hosey, you lose some weight or did you get your spring training haircut and you look, you look felt? No, nah, man, I, I, I lost a little bit of weight. I lost What'd a little you lose? bit of weight. Uh, like I'd say like eight to 10, probably eight to 10 pounds. Where did it go? Uh, to my, uh, forearms. Do you look, do you look better? Do you look better in the shower now? Is that why you did it? That's exactly why I did it. What that is it? What exactly is it going to, what is it going to give you? What is it going to give you this, this, cause we talk about, we talked about earlier with G, you know, the, the, the weight that he lost and how he looks. Yeah. What's the, what's the less weight going to give you to, for this season? For me, I think it's just like movement wise, man. Like it, it's like anything, like when you're weightlifting, you put extra weight on you so it can be heavier and it's tougher to move. It's the same thing. You take weight off, you're lighter, you can move faster. Uh, I, I did it because like rotational stuff, like I wanted to rotate more. I wanted to be more explosive. So that's why, I mean, that's why I did it. I wanted to be in good shape. I, I mean, I missed a lot of time, man. Like I just want to, I just want to play the freaking game again. So I just wanted to make sure when I came back, I was physically, mentally, you know, emotionally ready to play some baseball. And I, I feel like I'm in a good spot right now. That shape your life. Uh, 22, I was pretty good, but I was a little bit heavier, but I, I feel like, I feel like I'm in good shape now. Yeah. I'd, I'd say probably pretty good. I love that. Every, every player, best shape of my life. Every offense. Yeah. Best shape of my life. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, it's an acronym. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So do you, are you a guy that loses weight during the year? Cause I used to put on weight during the year and people were like, how do you put on weight? I'm like, it's easy. Just eat shit here. But how, are you a guy that <laughs> no. puts on weight or loses weight? <laughs> No, like I'll stay the same if not lose a little bit. Yeah, okay. I gotta, I gotta kind of eat a little bit because I'll just, I'll just start losing. Now, okay. is it is the real reason? Is it because you gotta see Rortved in a couple of days with his short <laughs> shirt off, and you're like, Jacked, huh? That ain't that ain't happening. Like we can't, that we can't jacked. be having Rortved coming in here taking my job, even though I got two point seven million in arbitration. Uh, Jay, he's Jack, bro. That dude's Jack. He's a house. He's no Tom Murphy. I don't know. Close. Tom, He's Tom's close. pretty big. Yeah. Tom's pretty Tom's big. Pretty Jack too. Hey, he, and for, he, for, listen, for a catcher, if you walk around, if you're a catcher and you walk around with a skin tight shirt and no nothing over it, and you have like full definition, you shouldn't be a catcher, bro. You need to you need to go play the outfield or something because that catchers aren't built we're supposed to be built like that. We're supposed we're supposed to have the Patrick Mahomes body when we take our shirt off. A little doughy <laughs> Patrick Mahomes body. I saw that. I saw that. How's the I wrist, like Hosey? Good. Hundred yeah, percent. Really good. Yeah, I feel I feel I feel great, man. I'm I'm just excited to be here already and ready to get going. Do they have to? Do they have to clear you? Is there is there still another hurdle that you have to know. clear in the sense of like you got to do more stuff, tests? I mean, I feel I feel pretty good with where I'm at. I don't know I don't know how the physicals or anything like that goes, but I mean, I feel good. I feel like I've been doing a lot of stuff, so yeah. Nice. Give us the word on Yankees camp. So we had Kane on. The other day, maybe it was yesterday, yeah. they're all stringing together. And he was like, I've never been more hyped for spring training. He was oh, like, yeah, dude. pumped about Soto, Everybody's but here. then he starts bringing up the pitchers too, right? And so guys yeah. are here earlier than usual? Yeah, I mean, guys are here. Like, I'd say 75% of guys. Yeah, everybody's here. Like, it's 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 a good it's a good crew. And, I mean, everybody's starting to come in too. So it's definitely exciting, man. It's, it's, uh, it's good to be around. I mean, we got a bunch of uh, – a bunch of firepower and, you know, the bullpen and, you know, the starters. It's, it's exciting. It's exciting to be around, man. We're looking to have a good year. Hey, is, uh, have you caught First of all, I have two questions. Have you caught anybody yet? Rodon, Nestor back from their injuries. And second of all, 
Austin Wells, are you treating him like a rookie, or are no. you treating him? No. And have they just maybe I, I the would, question better? Maybe the better question is: Are they? Him, am I treating him like I'm AJ Przinsky, or am I treating him like I'm Jose Trevino? Which one? Well, that's I mean, that I don't mean? know. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm asking. I've heard and some then, stuff, AJ. Come on, I've heard some I stuff. Mean, you AJ. Could, I mean, it was all true. I'll tell. I've, I tell all the stories on here. I don't care. That's no, fine. I uh, no, I I I like Wellesy, man. I'm I'm just you know whatever he needs from me, he knows that. Like any kind of knowledge I can give him, if he has any questions. Uh, today we were talking about blocking. Uh, we were talking about you know different chest protectors, different you know gloves, all types of stuff. So I mean, whatever he needs from me, he knows that he can ask me. I mean, I, I, I was fortunate enough to have Jeff Mathis uh, treated me very well. You know, Brent Hayes treated me very well. Um, all these guys that treated me very well. And I, I just, I feel like it's on me to do the same to, to other guys. You know, we're, we're, we're a different breed. Catchers just are different, man. And I, I feel like we're, we're here to help each other. Um, and the more we help each other, the better we get. What do you need to see in spring training? What do you need to see in spring training? You know, right now, you're sitting there and going, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to win the World Series. We're going to, you know, and month in, you're going to say, we're going to win the World Series, all that stuff. What do you personally need to see from your team in spring training that'll make you be convinced of what you've been telling yourself all offseason, even, even, you know, after you got hurt and coming, getting ready to yeah. come back? I think just, just building the team chemistry, man, like, playing together, playing for each other. Like, I mean, it sounds corny as hell, but like having each other's backs in certain situations, you know, picking up guys when, when guys aren't, you know, getting the job done, like someone picking them up, letting them know like, yo, like, it's all right. You know, you're going to get another shot at this. Um, just the camaraderie and, and having like, you know, the open conversations and like how something helps them and, you know, how you can help them, that kind of stuff, man. Just an open communication. Jose, um, we had Kane Leon and asked him about Luis Severino, and he said he felt like, obviously, eventually, you know, it can get into your head when the command issues are popping up, but he felt like, you know, he wasn't 100% on the health front. Uh, I, we might have asked you about this, but I don't remember. Obviously, you can probably speak to Sevy better than Kane Lee can. So, you know, what do you remember from what happened with him last year because the velocity numbers were okay. So, you know, Mets fans are yeah, obviously Sevy, wondering Sevy, what they're getting. Uh, Sevy's special, man. Sevy's a special dude to me. Uh, he's a competitor, dude. Like, the dude wants the ball. The dude wants the bright lights. The dude wants the pitch. Um, you know, I, I I don't have enough good things to say about Sevy, man. He's been great. He was good to me. Um, I liked working with him. Um did some things not go his way last year? Yeah, sure. But, I mean, that doesn't take, you know, he had the heart. He had the passion. He wanted the ball. He wanted a pitch. He wanted the whole the big stage. So, I mean, I think he's going to do great over there, man. He's got Mendy over there. He's got a few guys that he knows. Um, you know, he's, he's going to enjoy that. He's going to do great. We're going to go Corbin Burns here, okay? Now you got to face the big fella. He's going to be a tough at bat, but I think you got him. I think you're going to take that cutter, whack it back up the middle for he's an nasty. RBI. He's a good pitcher. He's a good pitcher. What do you He's think arm, when man. you hear the report that Spencer Jones could have gotten you guys Corbin Burns? Do you now look at Spencer Jones in, sp in spring training like, whoa, this dude's kind of a beast? Because the org thinks he's a beast, clearly. I think Spencer Jones is a great player. I, I, mean, I, had a, I, I, saw, him, I saw him last year, um, kind of like in spring training, backfields, that kind of stuff. I think he's a great player, man. Um, you know, I got – Nothing but good things to say about about Spencer and Corbin. Obviously, a great arm, dude. Like this is just makes the the AL East that much better, you know. So see where it goes. Hey, hey, uh, we had Kane Lee on yesterday. Um, can you wear your pants as tight as Tommy does? Because everyone was commenting <laughs> on his pants yesterday. I can try. I can try. Tommy looks great, by the way. Talk, talk about losing some weight. Tommy looks great, man. He looks great. He looks it's pretty good. His hair. His hair was on point, but his tan yeah, was I, You know what he rocked yesterday, though, was a Magic jersey. He was rocking a Magic jersey. Yeah, he was trying to rub it in my face and stuff. And I'm like, bro, it doesn't even matter. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll talk in a couple of years. It's fine. And he was <laughs> like, oh, this, guy, this, this guy's good. This guy's good. And I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see a couple of years. See a couple of years. But, yeah, he need, he does need to get out in the sun. Um, I asked Hail. him if he was trying out for that uh, for that new movie, the, the Vampire Diaries or whatever. I was like, yo, Tommy, <laughs> come on, bro. Like. 
we got to get outside, dude. Like, you kidding me? I, I don't know the other name of the movie that, you know, Team Edward and all that. I kind of asked him. I was like, bro, I, I'm assuming you're going Team Edward here because we need to get you some sun. But, no, we're, we're me- big wrestling guys. We're big wrestling guys, so we talk a lot about wrestling. So... Oh, he he gave us the lowdown. He he's oh, a we future deep yesterday. trash. We have a tag team. Yeah. we have a tag team. No, yeah, we could probably be like you know, I don't know. We've talked about it. We we figure out a name, but he likes Cody Rhodes. I like The Rock. I'm I'm all out on that Cody Rhodes train. I'm a more of a Rock guy, so I like what I saw yesterday. There you go. Mm. Yeah, I know Rock's in the news a lot this week. Some people are all over his case. Um, Rock slapped yeah. Cody Rhodes yesterday. Did you get on Tommy about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good. Needed to happen. It's good. Okay. AJ, you got one more. I got one more. Go ahead. And then he's uh, you, Trevor, you're in Tampa already? I am here, yes. What, what's the first place you go in Tampa when you get into town? Um, besides Trader my apartment? Joe's. No, no, like, what's the, I mean, restaurant, Target. yeah. Publix, Target. You get a pub sub. Target, no, I, I'm saying... Like, is there a restaurant you have to go to when you come to Tampa? Is there a, uh, something you have to go see in Tampa when you get in? No, I mean this is my second spring training, so I'm I'm still fairly new. I like the uh, Armature Works. Armature Works is nice. Oh, it's a great I like place, the little yeah. area. So I, I I had dinner there last night. I couldn't even tell you the name of the place, but it was it was good. It was nice. My I went with my agent, so yeah, I like okay. it. Hey, do we need to uh, universally clean up some ballparks so that Judgey doesn't run into one of those situations again from last year? It came up the other day. Uh, actually, it was Buck. I was trying to remember. I was like, who did that? Buck was like, how come we don't have some of these ballparks that are all cleaned up, you know, from a safety perspective? He, he brought up Houston in left field, too. What was that, that happened to Jake, out there? That happened to Jake Bowers, too. So Jake Bowers did that in, I want to say, in Arlington. Jake Bowers made this like sick ass catch against the wall and he like banged his knee up against like a little piece of concrete. But I mean, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they're doing it. Um, but there's always like little like gaps for some reason, you know, at the bottom of the wall. Um, I have no clue, but you know, yeah, sure. Like make it as safe as possible. I mean, we already got the nets, you know, all the way down for the fans, like see what we got padded walls or something. Let's protect the talent. Yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll keep plugging it. We'll make sure they know. They hear about it. They got about a month to figure it out. Okay? Yeah. We're coming, yeah. though. We'll, we're going to come in in, a, in two, three weeks. Either, I think I think maybe AJ, but one of us. So, we'll you see you in You are coming down to Tampa? AJ? Yeah, I'll come to – I mean, it's not that far. I'll tell you what. Only you if we go to one or two places. We either go to Burns or we go to Dax. Ooh. You can pick. Ooh. Let's go to – I got a better place for you. Maybe maybe we'll schedule it out to where, you know, AJ can come to the catcher's dinner this year. Oh, there we go. Wait, what's the – I want to know the name of the better place than Burns or Dats. No, nah, no, nah, well, that's for me and you. Don't, we'll don't say out. Columbia. Don't say Columbia. No, they're going to no, no, no. offline it. No, no, no. I mean, catcher's Burns has dinner, a dessert. AJ? But Burns has a dessert Burns floor. is good. Bur- Burns. Burns is good. Burns is good. I had that last year. It was pretty good. That place was yeah. That place was sick. Kratz is like – Yo, catcher's dinner. Yo. No, yeah. no, no, no. I don't need to come there. They they want a they want a star catcher. They don't need any more backups. Okay, they're good. Yeah, they got we need, like six. Oh, in spring we need AJ. AJ, if you come, you're paying for sure. For sure, you're paying. That's why. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you just hey, you just signed a big deal, bro. You know what I make for this show? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> coach's salary, kid. Yeah, I make big, I make big coach's deal. salary. We'll we'll just do the credit card roulette thing, and you know I'll take my card out and leave your card in. You know uh, your treat, man. It's great. Thanks for giving oh, back. Perfect. You know? That's why I, I mean perfect. McDonald's is amazing. That right down the street, there's a Chili's, there's a there's a Applebee's. You know, we'll get you some baby checkers, back ribs. We can go to Checkers too. We can go to Checkers. Oh, I love che- Checkers. Used to be so good. They used to have little mini apple pies. Oh, yeah, so good. Rally burger. Oh man, dude, are you kidding don't, me? Don't sleep on Checkers, bro. <laughs> Best shape of his life. You can't get in the way of best shape of his life. Yeah, dude, don't. We're not setting you down if you're taking him to, to checkers. Get out hey, of here. No, man. I'll, I'll, I'll get right. market, dude. We go to Armature Works, so. though. I'll, 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 no, I'll take you to Oh, Meat, meat Mark is good. Meat Mark is solid. The one in Palm Beach is oh, solid. Yeah. Meat Mark yeah, is the good. One down it's here not even Tampa. about the meat. Nice. It's about the other. It's about the the, the, the meat the market. the market. Yeah. It's like South Beach. Jose, one more from me. Hey, did you see Klubot? Klubot retired. What do you got to say no. about Corey Kluber? No way, man. Uh, 
dude, I enjoyed my time in Texas with him. It was only one game, but I, I didn't get to catch him the game. But all of that 2020, you know, COVID year, I caught, you know, his bullpens, his lives. Incredible human, man, like down to earth dude. Um, special, special stuff, you know, watching him with Cleveland in the playoffs, dude, that dude was an animal. And uh, he, he threw a no hitter against us. Yeah. Uh, and I, and I actually just found out, I just found out that they were worried about me in that no hitter. They were like, dude, you know, Trevino's a contact guy. Higgy told me actually, it's like Trevino's a contact guy. You know, that's the guy we got to watch out for right there. Cause he might put one in play or something like that. So, I mean, for them to be talking about that and for him, dude, I mean, he's a, I mean, he's a hall of famer, dude, what he's done, what he's, you know, brought to the game. It's, it's amazing, dude. So. I mean, well wishes and whatever he does after baseball, but that dude was a beast. Higgy's Higgy's so nice. Telling you they're worried about you coming off the <laughs> bench, breaking up a no hitter. No, I, I was actually in the game. Oh, you were I, in I the actually, lineup. I hit, yeah, I hit a ball. I actually hit a ball to right, a line drive to right, got caught, and I was like, "Damn, that was pretty good bolt." I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna get past that, but and then they <laughs> they actually pinch hit for me. I don't know. <sighs> Did they bring in Willie? I think they brought in Willie Calhoun, and Calhoun was the one that got the last out. So I was actually – I would have been okay with, I guess, kind of cashing in his no-hitter. You know, that would have been something to <laughs> be like, yeah, great, cool. You broke up his no-hitter. All right, last one for me. You're in the player's parking lot, right? Sure. It doesn't matter, bro. It's all – nobody's getting in the hey, player's parking lot. nobody's stalking you, dude. Don't do that. Uh, you, you, you'd be surprised. Okay. So, who's got the nicest car in camp? Oh, bro, come on. Well, I actually, because Chappie's not there anymore. Chappie used to have <laughs> Chappie, the absolute. Chappie has some rides. massive cars. Yeah, I don't know. I okay, mean, there's a few. There's a few. There's a few bends. There's, you know, nothing. Nothing exotic. I like. I like not yet. That's for day one, man. Come on, you know that. Somebody's okay. gonna bring a horse or something. Who knows? It might be. It might be me. Who knows? Do it. it you ride, ride in a horse. horse. If you ride in on a horse, I'll buy dinner. How's that? Oh. Come on. Anywhere. Let's go. I mean, anywhere in Tampa. Yes. My my dinner or catcher's dinner. I'll buy the whole catcher's gonna, dinner if you ride in on get, a horse on the first day. Oh, dude. Just, AJ, there you come go. On. Do AJ. it. Don't be scared. Hey, I hey, do and all. I'm, I'm gonna let it's, you. It's going out there. I'm going to let you know that I won a couple hundred bucks one time because some guy was like, you won't stand the whole ride from this place to this place. It was an 11 hour trip. I stood the whole time. I stood the whole time. You also don't know that I dyed my hair white for 2,500 bucks from Jim Tomey. So, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Was that the frosted tips? No, this was full white. Oh, shoot. Thumbs up. He even this. got thumbs up on that one. Dude, Aaron <laughs> Kratz freaking fell on purpose in Astros opening yeah. day. Oh, that shit went day. super yeah. viral. Yeah. I, need to, I need to see you in a, on that horse. On a horse. Yeah. Spurs. But I need, Spurs I need cowboy Spurs. hat. I need Spurs jersey and a cowboy hat. And Spurs on your ankles. Well, you put them on your boots, but. All right. See what I can do. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll yeah, see you let. Yeah, I, I, I just said it. That's and fine. I'm flying down to Orlando for that dinner, too, because no, I love no, Burns. No. Nope. No, already no, already no. there. Rort Van invited me. <laughs> All right. He's got homework to do now. Austin Wells invited thing, me. Dude. We will see you in person, maybe paying for hey, dinner. Good talking to you guys.